Hey there. Have you received a postcard in the mail from Uber asking you to be a driver? Probably not because they're only sending it to newbies, not to experienced drivers. In this video, I'm going to share with you the strategy that Uber has now to attract new drivers and stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you why I think this strategy will work. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And yes, I am not in my car. And yes, I am not in America. I am traveling using some of the freedom and flexibility that comes with being an Uber and Lyft driver. And uh, I, I'm a scallywag. I, I headed off to Santorini, Greece. That's where I'm coming to you from right now. And at the end of the video, I'll share with you a little bit of beautiful footage of some of this uh, wonderful island, Santorini, Greece. All right, but let's get right to it. Uber and Lyft have a big problem. The big problem is you and me, we are the drivers. And they need us, they need us in order to conduct business. We are the most customer facing part of their organization. Yet we're also their biggest expense. And as we all know, Uber and Lyft have not been profitable. So what is Uber and Lyft to do? Well, one strategy uh, we uncovered is uh, they are sending out postcards to newbies. And I'm gonna share that postcard with you uh, in a few minutes here. So driver pay has basically gone down and down and down. So it used to be that we got paid a, a, a percentage, in my case uh, with Lyft, it was 80% of the passenger's fare. Pretty simple. Then a year, year or so later, they, uh, like, like the United States in 1971 when they got off the gold standard, Uber and Lyft decided to get off the percentage of passenger's fare and they went to this time and distance model where you get a base rate and then you get so much per mile and you get so much per minute. And that gave uh, Uber and Lyft a lot more power over us because they could just lower the per dollar, the, the per minute and the per mile rates. And it had nothing to do with what they were charging the, the passenger. And that's exactly what happened. At the end of last year, in my market of San Francisco, they dropped the per mile they increased the per minute a little bit, but on a trip to San Jose, I calculated I would make $10 less uh, on a ride. I would make three to $4 less on an airport run. And then recently in Los Angeles, we saw the per mile rate cut a dramatic 25%. The per minute did go up a little bit, but overall I calculated that was a 10 to 20% decrease for most drivers, depending on what kind of a driver you are. What that has done is created some very bad blood between drivers and the companies. So what does bad blood look like? Well, it looks like anger. That's what I felt when they cut the rates uh, in San Francisco. A tremendous amount of anger because this is how I make money. And they're basically taking money from me and I don't like it. You, you don't offer a man this rate and then you play takeaway. And we've also seen with the Uber Pro, they offered us some bonuses of a 3% a 6% pay bump. Um, and they, they took that away also. That's what Uber did. And what's it look like? It looks like strikes, right? Two days before Uber went uh, public, uh, there was strikes all over, all over the world uh, of drivers uniting and saying, you know, we're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it anymore. So here's the campaign. They're sending out postcards to people that don't know any of this history. And they're encouraging them, and you'll see in the postcard right here, uh, they're uh, appealing to people that don't have cars and sh it's showing how it's very simple to get started with Uber because they have a lot of ways in which you can secure a car, try it out, and get started. And it's a very clever strategy because drivers like you and me, who have been doing this for a while, we have the bad blood. We know that the rates started here and they're now down here. But to a newbie, yeah, the rates are like right here, right? They have no point of reference. So to them, they're looking at, well, I could drive around a little bit and make a little extra money, right? It's not gonna be less money than they made before because they don't have that point of reference. So for somebody, for example, like my daughter, um, she just started driving for Uber and Lyft. And she doesn't need to make a lot of money, but she loves the freedom and the flexibility so she can do driving for three months before she you know, resumes her studies. And there are lots of people out there still um, who haven't driven for Lyft or Uber for whom this will look like a great opportunity because they don't have that point of reference. And that's why this campaign will work because 
The same reason you and I started driving is the same reason people will start driving now. For a large chunk of the population, that's still a good deal because they can drive whenever they want, make money whenever they want, and let's face it, it's an enjoyable way to make money. So you gotta give it up to Uber. It makes a lot of sense and the strategy will work. So the key takeaway is that there are always gonna be people who want to drive to make money. And whether they make 100% of what we've made in the past or 60%, to them that's the new normal. And the freedom, the flexibility, the ability to work and then do other things that you wanna do, it's just too darn attractive. And there's always going to be a market for drivers to come in and, um, and do the work. Okay, now as promised, I'm gonna share with you a little bit of uh, this beautiful country uh, and this beautiful island of Santorini, Greece. freaking awesome huh all right uh, this is Jay Crater with the rideshare guy I want to say thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel by all means do so uh, we're all about helping drivers to make more money in less time uh, we keep you up to date with all the latest news things that are happening in the industry stay on top of your game y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there